So I wanted to continue my series on in defense of modern Satanism and uh, in defense of the Romantics interpretation of Satan as the anti-hero. And uh, I want to cover, I am going to get into uh, the ancient Canaanite religion and Baal worship and the origins of Judaism and the origins of Abrahamism as Judaism from its origins as ancient Canaanite religion and the role of ancient Canaanite religion in modern Satanism as per uh, Anton LaVey's form of Satanism. Uh, but I'll get into that uh, in a later video. This video, I did want to talk more about how there aren't really any real Satanists in the entertainment industry. Yes, in the past, in the past you had folks like Jane Mansfield, Sammy Davis Jr., uh, you had a number, uh, King Diamond from, I believe the band is Venom, you had some Satanists that made it relatively big, if not very big, in the entertainment industry. But for the most part, a lot of this stuff about the Illuminati and how everybody's a Satanist in Hollywood, a lot of this is baloney. Okay, number one, the Illuminati has nothing to do with modern Satanism, as anybody would know. And then you have people like this guy Mark Passio, who did used to work in the Church of Satan, uh, claiming that he'll sell you the secrets of how to defend yourself from Satanism, but he'll sell it to you, okay? And that's what I think is funny about this. Um, so how it works is if you look at various members of the music industry, uh, and now Mark Passio has corrected himself. He doesn't say Satanists. He says dark occultists, okay? And that's fine. But if you look at members of the music industry, I, I primarily use the music industry, not the uh, other fields of entertainment, simply because... Uh, they're not as visible as far as Satanism is concerned. But even one of the bands that I'm extremely fond of, and the name of the band is Slayer, and the lead singer is uh, Arya, and he's a Chilean gentleman. And he's a devout Roman Catholic. Peter Steele from Typo Negative, devout Roman Catholic. Gene Simmons from Kiss, Jewish. Dee Snyder from Twisted Sister, Christian. Alice Cooper from Alice Cooper, a born-again Christian, raised a Mormon. Um, and these are their religions. These are their declared religions. Now, of course, Alice Cooper was friends with Anton LaVey and was friends with Carla LaVey, Anton LaVey's daughter. And I think this is another thing that people need to understand. Uh, you can be a Satanist and be friends with a Christian. You can be a Satanist and be friends with a Muslim. You can be a Satanist and be friends with a Catholic or a Buddhist or a Hindu or whatever. Usually the closed-mindedness is not coming from the Satanist. It's coming from the other side. So you can be a Satanist and be friends with anyone. The problem is a lot of times, once they find out you're a Satanist, uh, yeah, that you don't get treated so well by them. Uh, and that's one of the issues. But I mean, when people like to, a lot of people had called out um, Carla LaVey for being friends with, um, with, uh, what's his face, um, with Alice Cooper. And uh, yeah, that, that, there's nothing unsatanic about being friends with a Christian. Okay, there is nothing unsatanic about being friends with a Muslim or a Jew or a what have you. It's just, it so happens that, you know, uh, the closed-mindedness does not come from the satanic side of the uh, of the aisle. There, it comes from the other side, most mostly, um, and that's. I think that most Satanists, uh, at, least, at least ones back in the day, realize that you know people believe in whatever they're going to believe in. It's not your place to tell them what to believe in. Uh, people can believe in anything if they choose to. It's not my responsibility or your responsibility to tell people what to think or what to feel or who to believe in and what not to believe in and etc. And I think that was a pretty much across the board understanding of uh, original modern Satanism back in the time of LaVey, which changed uh, drastically, I would say, primarily, I think, due to the satanic panic of the 80s and 90s, where Satanists started realizing that people were really out to get them. 
uh, and they were out to get them. What you will see also is if you if you notice what's interesting in the entertainment industry, you have a very high proportion of Catholics and uh, people of Jewish religion, religious uh, affiliation. So you have a lot of Catholics and folks of religious Jewish affiliation. Lots of overrepresentation there in the entertainment business. And I think that's important to understand. I think that is important to understand, especially because they're trying to uh, basically ostracize a minority religion, Satanism, which is a obvious minority religion. I would guarantee you few Americans are Satanists. Probably, uh, few, there's probably maybe more than Jews, like there's probably more Satanists than Jews in the United States, but that's not many, okay? Because you have to remember, Satanists have to self-identify as such, and when you self-identify as a Satanist, you're not treated too kindly. Um, but my point is, is a lot of the, with the exception of Boyd Rice and Marilyn Manson, and Marilyn Manson, hmm... Now, Boyd Rice hasn't made it very far in the music industry as a Satanist. Marilyn Manson has made it extremely far, but his behavior is not that of a proper Satanist. His glorification of drug use, his glorification of, um, of abortion, uh, themes in his music that are very unsatanic. Um, and that's, I mean, I'm a fan of Marilyn Manson's. I listen to Marilyn Manson's music, but... He might be a decent musician, but he's not a very good Satanist, okay? And that's the thing. But with the exception of Marilyn Manson, there's not really many actual Satanists that have actually made it very far in the music industry. As noted, if you look through the description, the majority are actually Roman Catholic, with the minority being Jewish. So you have a lot of Roman Catholics that are, like, as far as the promotion of Satanism through music goes. It's mostly promoted by Roman Catholics and Jews. Okay, so you have mostly Roman Catholics and a small minority of Jewish musicians. And I'm not saying that Jews promote Satanism, and I'm not saying that Catholics promote Satanism. But what I will say is I do think this. I think the people of Jewish ancestry promote Satanism for money. I think the people of Roman Catholic origin uh, we had this issue in the, during the Satanic Panic. There was a lot of promotion of Satanism by false Satanists in the Christian community that would be pretend Satanists, and the reason to promote this was to make it appear as though there's a Satanist everywhere. There's Satanists everywhere. That's not the truth. Okay, so I do think there's a more nefarious reason that Christian entertainers and Catholic entertainers are promoting the, the concept of Satan far, far more than Jewish entertainers. I think the Jewish entertainers are doing it literally for entertainment purposes. But when you have Catholic entertainers, like the gentleman that is the head of Slayer, the lead singer of Slayer, and when you have, um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, uh, they're in the description. I, I looked it all up last night. But I, th I think that when you have Catholics doing it, I think Peter Steele, for example, I think this is done to show that there is an imaginary uh, Satanism problem that needs to be dealt with. And the proof of it is in the music industry. And that's why they're doing it. I think that there there is a reason that they're doing this. And the reason is to conflate this alleged problem, because you have to remember when they're promoting Satanism and Satan in their music, this is completely out of sync with what the concept of Satan and Satanism is in Levian Satanism, and in even in most theistic branches of Satanism. And this this is due, I think, to them trying to create a paper tiger of, um, of Satanism. Uh, Mark Passio does the same thing, uh, and I think it's done to interfere with uh, with Satanism's ability to take hold, but also it doesn't. It, it makes people mass convert to these religions. Because you have to remember this, a lot of Christians, they don't really want to interfere with the ones at the top that are making the money. Not the, not the everyday Christian that actually believes in the nonsense, but the ones that are putting the money in their pockets, the televangelists and such, they're their best friend is Satan. As it says in the Satanic Bible, Satan has always been the best friend of the church because Satan has kept the churches in business. Uh, so when 
they're promoting they're promoting this idea that Satanism's everywhere. Satanists are coming to get your kids. Satan, 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 Satan. And what happens is this allows people to, out of fear, turn to Christianity, turn to Catholicism. Uh, a lot of people, you have to remember, the Catholic Church keeps waning in power, waning in power, waning in power. Why? Because of the Catholic Church's bad behavior. And I think it's the responsibility of anyone that has any experience with Satanism, whether they're an active Satanist or not. I'm not a Satanist anymore. But if you, if you are an, especially if you're an active Satanist, but if you're um, a former Satanist, I think you have a responsibility to point out the hypocrisy, especially of the Catholic Church and these big mega churches, these televangelist churches, because the facts are the facts. These people are exploiting people's ignorance of Satanism. Okay, now Satanism, Satanism does not proselytize. Okay, and that's going to, I'm going to deal with this in the similarities between Abrahamism and and Satanism, because Judaism does not proselytize. And as you remember, I said Anton LaVey was a Jew. So Satanism does not proselytize. So some people might think that it might be bordering on anti-Satanic to defend Satanism, to point out, you know, these behaviors that the, the Catholics and the Christians are saying that Satanists do aren't done by Satanists. These are the actions and behaviors of the Roman Catholic Church these are the actions and behaviors of pedophiles amongst the Christian community. These are not the actions and behaviors of any organized sect of Satanism, especially not Levian Satanism, not the not the Church of Satan, not the Satanic, uh, not the uh, First Satanic Church, and as far as uh, as far as I know, not the Temple of Set. So the thing is, the Temple of Set is not technically Levian; it's more of like a Egyptian. Uh, initiatory uh, magical lodge system. But my point is, my point is that it is the responsibility of everyone that has any experience with actual Satanism to speak up, speak clearly, and point out the hypocrisy of the Catholics and the Christians, and to question question with your brain why are so many Roman Catholics overrepresented in a music industry that promotes false ideas of Satan and Satanism. And that's all for this video. Follow the links in the description.